Madeleine Talmadge, Force, Astor Dick Fiermonte, June 19, 1893 to March 27, 1940, was an American socialite and a survivor of the RMS Titanic. She was also the second wife and widow of businessman John Jacob Astor IV. Madeleine Talmadge Force was born on June 19, 1893, in Brooklyn, New York, the younger daughter of William Hurlbut Force, 1852-1917, and the former Catherine Arvilla Talmadge, 1863-1930. Madeleine's elder sister Catherine Emmons Force was a real estate businesswoman and socialite. Through her father, she had French ancestry and was a great-niece of builder Ephraim S. Force, 1822. March 12, 1914. Her mother had Dutch ancestry. William Force was a member of a well-established business family. He owned the successful shipping firm William H. Force & Company, and his father had been prosperous in the manufacturing industry. In 1889, Force married Catherine Talmadge, the granddaughter of former Brooklyn Mayor Thomas Talmadge. The Forces were part of Brooklyn High Society, while William Force was a member of numerous prestigious clubs in the city. He also owned an art collection. Like the Astor family, the Forces were members of the Episcopal Church. Madeline was educated at Miss Ely's school and then for four years at Miss Spence's school, on West 48th Street in Manhattan. According to one report, she was counted an especially brilliant pupil at this school. She and her sister were also taken abroad by their mother and toured Europe several times. When she was introduced to New York social life, she was immediately adopted by the Junior League, a clique of debutantes. She appeared in several New York society plays and attracted quite a following. She was known to be a very competent horsewoman and enjoyed yachting. One report said she was bright and good with drawing room conversation. She met Colonel John Jacob Jack Astor IV, the only son of businessman William Backhouse Astor, Jr. and socialite Caroline Webster Lena Schimmerhorn. During their courtship, he took her on automobile drives and yacht trips, and they were often followed by the press. They became engaged in August 1911 and were married on September 9, 1911. There was a considerable amount of opposition to his marriage not only because of their age difference, 29 years apart, with Madeline being 18, and John at 47, but because of his recent divorce, November 1909, from his previous wife. After several Episcopal priests refused to celebrate the nuptials, the couple were eventually married by a Congregationalist minister at Beechwood, his Newport mansion. His son William Vincent Astor served as best man. After their marriage, they had an extended honeymoon. They visited several places locally first, then in January 1912, they sailed from New York on the Titanic's sister ship, the Olympic, and enjoyed a long Egyptian tour. While returning from this part of their honeymoon, they booked their passage on the Titanic. Madeleine Astor, then five months pregnant, boarded the Titanic as a first-class passenger in Cherbourg, France, with her husband, her husband's valet, Victor Robbins, her maid, Rosalie Bedoys, and her nurse, Caroline Endres. They also took Kitty, Astor's pet Airedale, and occupied one of the parlor suites. On the night of April 14, 1912, Colonel Astor reported to his wife that the ship had hit an iceberg. He reassured her that the damage did not appear serious, though he helped her strap on her life jacket. Whilst they were waiting on the boat deck, Mrs. Astor lent Leah AKS, a third-class passenger, her fur shawl to keep her son, Philly, warm. At one point, the ASDs retired to the gymnasium and sat on the mechanical horses in their life jackets. Colonel Astor found another life jacket which he reportedly cut with a pen knife to show Madeline what it was made of. When it was time to board a lifeboat, Madeline as Store, her maid, and her nurse had to crawl through the first-class promenade window into the tilting lifeboat for, which had been lowered down to a deck to take on more passengers. As Storr had helped his wife to climb through the window and asked if he could accompany her as she was in a delicate condition. The request was denied by second officer Charles Lightoller. An account of Madeline's boarding of the lifeboat was given by Archibald Gracie IV to the U.S. Senate Titanic Inquiry. Gracie was a fellow passenger and recalled the events regarding Madeline Astor in the following terms. 
The only incident I remember in particular at this point is when Mrs. Astor was put in the boat. She was lifted up through the window, and her husband helped her on the other side, and when she got in, her husband was on one side of this window and I was on the other side, at the next window. I heard Mr. Astor ask the second officer whether he would not be allowed to go aboard this boat to protect his wife. He said, no, sir, no man is allowed on this boat or any of the boats until the ladies are off. Mr. Astor then said, well, tell me what is the number of this boat so I may find her afterwards, or words to that effect. The answer came back, number four. Astor and his valet died in the sinking, the former's body was recovered on April 22nd. He was found to be carrying about $2,500 in cash, brought with him from his cabin. His young widow and the other survivors were rescued by the RMS Carpathia around 3.30. Madeleine Astor gave an account of what she recalled almost immediately after her arrival home through her spokesman Nicholas Biddle, who was a trustee of the Astor estate. The account given by her spokesman is On landing from the Carpathia, the young bride widowed by the Titanic sinking told members of her family what she could recall of the circumstances of the disaster. Of how Colonel Astor had met his death she had no definite conception. She recalled she thought that in the confusion as she was about to be put into one of the boats Colonel Astor was standing by her side. After that she had no very clear recollection of the happenings until the boats were well clear of the sinking steamer. Mrs. Astor, it appears, left in one of the last boats which got away from the ship. It was her belief that all the women who wished to go had then been taken off. Her impression was that the boat she left in had room for at least 15 more persons. The men, for some reason that she could not and does not now understand, did not seem to be at all anxious to leave the ship. Almost everyone seemed dazed. After Astor returned home from her ordeal, she was kept in strict retirement. Her first social function was not until the end of May, when she held a luncheon at her mansion on Fifth Avenue for Arthur Rostron, the captain of the Carpathia, and Dr. Frank McGee, the ship's surgeon. She held this event with Marion Thayer, also a survivor of the Titanic. Both wished to thank these men for their assistance when they were aboard the Carpathia. In his will, John Jacob Astor IV left his wife an outright sum of $100,000, the income from a trust fund of $5 million, and the use of the house on Fifth Avenue. Both of the latter provisions she would lose if she remarried. A fund of $3 million was set aside for his unborn child John Jacob Jakey Astor VI, which he would control when he became of age. On August 14, 1912, Astor gave birth to Jakey at her Fifth Avenue mansion. For the next four years, she raised him as part of the Astor family. She did not seem to appear very often in society until the end of 1913, when according to the press, they published her first photograph since the Titanic disaster. After this, she appeared more often in public and her activities were frequently reported in the press. In 1915 she remodeled her house on Fifth Avenue and this was made a feature article in the New York Sunday. Many articles about her eldest son were also published. Four years after Colonel Astor's death, Madeleine Astor married her childhood friend, banker William Carl Dick, May 28, 1888 to September 5, 1953, on June 22, 1916, in Bar Harbor, Maine and honeymooned in California. He was a vice president of the Manufacturers Trust Company of New York and a part owner and director of the Brooklyn Times. As stated in Colonel Astor's will, she lost her stipend from his trust fund. They had two sons. William Force Dick, April 11, 1917 to December 4, 1961. John Henry Dick, May 12, 1919 to September 18, 1995, ornithologist, photographer, naturalist, conservationist, author, painter, and bird illustrator. They divorced on July 21, 1933, in Reno, Nevada. For months later, on November 27, 1933, Astor married Italian actor-boxer Enzo Firmonte in a civil ceremony in New York City. They honeymooned in Palm Beach, Florida. They eventually moved there. They had no children together and divorced on June 11, 1938, 
in West Palm Beach, Florida. Madeline Fiermonte died of a heart ailment at her mansion in Palm Beach on March 27, 1940, at the age of 46. She was buried in Trinity Church Cemetery in New York City, in a mausoleum with her mother. Thank you for listening, and if you would like to hear more biographies, please leave a comment below and perhaps give a thumbs up and subscribe to help my channel. Thank you again for listening.